What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Before we start getting into our opening today, I want to let you guys know that there is a new beautiful Funko Pop that has been released at Target. As you can see, it barely fits on the camera, right? That's because it is the 10 inch Funko Pop of Squirtle. There you go. I have every single one besides the Pikachu. So when I seen this, I was like, yep, I'm picking it up right now. They do also have a deal right now. Buy two of the, the huge Funko Pops, 10 inch Funko Pops and get one free. So you can't beat that deal. If you're looking for that Charmander one, I've seen that some locations still have that. So you could get maybe the Charmander, the Squirtle. Maybe if they still have the Bulbasaur one, get that one for free or vice versa. So it's a, a very good deal if you have been looking into getting some of these. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that before we get started in our opening today. I will also be announcing um, some items that I'm gonna be giving away in today's video. So stay tuned for that. So let's just get started into opening these Dollar Tree packs. We have 10 Unbroken Bonds and 10 Unified Minds. So we're just gonna open up both of these and see which set gets the better pulls. The arts are completely random. I just pulled 10 of each and we're gonna crack them open and see what we can get. So give me just a second, I'll speed, speed through this part. All right, so there we go, all opened up. So it looks like I said we had 10 of each. Turns out we have 15 of each, guys, so a little bit more. So not complaining though, not complaining. Forgot that I actually had picked up 15 of each. Um, wasn't planning to open up all 15, but I already started. So we have, for the card trick, you just put one to the front. So we have Noctowl, Cosmog, and a Bohem actually a rare so not bad so we'll do one of each here go back and forth between the two sets and that's no code card it's just advertisement one to the front so we have a croconaw a tentacle and a reverse cubone not bad so you can pull absolutely anything from these sets which is absolutely amazing. I mean, you spend a dollar and you pull a full art or a rainbow rare or a full art trainer. It can't complain with that. So you got a fairy energy, a snow runt, and a dynamo. All right, onto the Charizard and Reshiram pack card. Can we pull a Charizard and Reshiram out of this, guys? Rainbow rare? That would be awesome. So we have a Golbat, a Venonat. And a Quagsire. So we have a Fire Energy, a Slack Off, and a Slandit. So I have opened these on the channel before. I actually did an art pack battle between all the um, Unbroken Bonds pack arts. And this Machamp and Marshadow put in work. So Haunter, Lickitung, and a Reverse Rare Weezing. Nice. Nice. Not bad. Anytime you get those Reverse Rares, it's actually a pretty good pull because they don't pop up very easily. They're not pulled very easily, I should say. So we have a Misty's Favor, which I would love to have full art. A Perleon and a Magmar, nice. All right, we have a Dark Energy, a Porygon, and a Darumaka. One to the front, 
We have a Thunderous. Nice. A Tynamo and an Expedrill, which is a rare. We'll take that. On to the Unbroken Bond Reshizar Pack Art. So let me know down in the comments, guys, which pack, um, which set do you think will get the better pulls? We all know how Unbroken Bonds pulls are, but these Dollar Tree packs are like crazy. You never know. So we have a Tangla and an Oddish. One to the front. Boom. Chrysalia. Carablast. And a Hone Edge. It's nothing too crazy so far, but I mean, it, with the Dollar Tree packs, that's, that's how it is sometimes. Fire Crystal, which is a very, very playable card. Coughing. And a Rhyperior, which is a rare. All right, the Dark Ryan Umbreon pack art here. We have a Basculin, a Lickitung, and a Reverse Hone Edge. Nice. So you guys looking forward to Cosmic Eclipse? I know I am, dude. It's a very awesome looking set. I love the, the trainer Pokemon cards that they're releasing. So... Best believe I will be opening those on the channel. We have a Larion, a Goldeen, and a Reverse Esper. The other reason why I like these Dollar Tree packs so much is because you get a lot of the reverses. And I tend not to um, get the reverse rares that I need from the set from opening the regular packs. Oh, water Energy. Fungus and a reverse rare Dragonite. It's actually a really, really good pull. Like I said, you get those reverse rares quite a bit. You can't complain with those, especially if you know you're trying to get the master set. Th these definitely help with that. Welder, nice pull. Um, Ratata and a Goldeen. Yeah, so what do you guys think about that Funko Pop? I mean, it's huge, right? I love that thing. I'm still looking for that. That um, There's Caracosta, Yingoose, and Archaeops. Still looking for the um, Pikachu one, but everybody's charging like 80 bucks. So that's, that's crazy. I need the, the small regular size one, and I need the 10-inch Funko Pop of the Pikachu. I'm definitely keeping my eye out for a decently priced one. Electric, electro magnetic radar, Misdrevious, and a rare Persian. All right, let's move on to the Garchomp and Garatina pack art. We have a Fighting Energy, a Yanma, and an Execute. I mean, they do only come with the three cards. You're not entitled to a rare or anything like that. So it's just completely random when you open these things, but makes it that much more fun. And a holographic Kyurem. Nice. First holo. So I'd have to say I'm broken bonds. It's kind of putting in work right now. Get rid of these advertisement cards. All right. Got the Deox, Deoxys and Espeon pack art there. So we have a Basculin, a Poipul, which is a very beautiful shiny in Hidden Fates, and a Numel. All right, we're getting down to like four pack, four or five packs each. All right, so we have a Tentacruel, Porygon, and a Reverse Diglett. So 
So we have Adele Mize, a Hoot Hoot with Zapdos back there, and a Reverse Flyinium Z. Not bad. I will be sleeving these up after the opening. Don't worry, guys. I know a lot of people don't even um, sleeve their reverse hollows and such, but I do. Mischievous and a Salandin. Come on, guys. Smash that like button, guys, in hopes of some good luck here. Let's, get, let's at least get a GX pool for each set. That would be nice, or even one of them. Dragonair, Padov, and another rare Bahiam. Come on, Bahiam. We don't need you anymore. All right, one to the front. Fire Energy. Meowth. And a Reverse Reds Challenge. It's actually a very nice pull. I've not pulled that one yet. And it's a rare, so... That one deserves a double sleeve there. So what are you guys mostly looking forward to in Cosmic Eclipse? What cards? I think they got the tag team trainers. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. I haven't seen that done yet. Um, in a Magnazone Rare Reverse. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. So yeah, we they got the tag team trainers, which look very, very cool. They got like the Cynthia and I think Lily or Caitlin. Um the red and blue, they, they just they look so dope. The full arts are amazing. Glysaur, Diglett, and a Quagsire, which is a rare. So man, I'm broken bonds is just not stopping with the the rare pulls and reverse hollows. We have one more Unified Minds here. Come on. Last pack magic here, guys. Audino, Dratini, and a Fungus. All right, official last pack magic for Unbroken Bonds. So we have a Fire Energy, a Glammeow, and a Diglett. All right. So nothing in that, those two last packs there. But we did get quite a few rares in reverse hollows, reverse hollow rares. So we got this for a reverse hollow rare. This Dragonite. I actually need this Dragonite, so I'm gonna sleep that up right now because I know that for a fact. And it's a rare. Then we got the Red Challenge, which is a rare. We got that Kirim Holographic, which is a rare, of course. And then we got this rare reverse wheezing, which I'm pretty sure I'll need for the master set as well. Plus we got a ton of other reverses and just regular rares. Um, so I was meaning to crack this open in the middle of the opening, just to have something else to open up besides Dollar Tree packs. But I know they, they can be a dud sometimes. Twirly twirl. So I got this quick ball I've been had for a while now. So let's just crack it open and see what type of pulls we could get inside of it. It's very nice tin though. If you could find these not dented up, this one's in very good shape. They're pretty cool for display pieces. So we got Ancient Origins, Burning Shadows, and Crimson Invasion. The only one I would say would be worth it really is the Burning Shadows. I mean, there is some good cards in Ancient Origins and, and such. I mean, every set has some, some good cards, but. All right, let's just get started. We'll open the Burning Shadows first. See if we can get that Charizard. Code card. So we have a Grass Energy, 
a Guzma, Super Scoop Up, Plumeria, Sock, Mudbray, Oddish, Dabbing Duskull, Esper, Reverse Alolan Grimer with the Bruxious for our rare. So nothing too crazy there. Got a lot of cards, a lot of mess going on here. It's all good. Go on to the Crimson Invasion, and we'll do Ancient Origins last. last. So we have a Metal Energy, Gladion, or Gladion, Emogla, Grumpig, Houndour, Staryu, Jenga Mo O, Shelmet, Salandit, Reverse Corefish, and a Houndoom for the rare. So nothing in each of those. I have opened up a couple of the Pokeballs on the channel already and I have not had any luck with them. I don't think I've gotten one pull out of any of them. Code card. Three. So let's get some last pack magic for this Pokeball. Quick Ball 10. Blossom. Ace Trainer. Special Energy Dark. Or Dangerous Energy it says. Um, Magikarp, Whooper, Gumi, Malumar, Baltoy, Reverse Rare, Vile Plume, that's nice. And a Metagross for the rare. It's actually a pretty dope art. If it was like a holographic, it'd be very nice. All right, so like I said, nothing, nothing came from the Quick Ball. I mean, it would have been nice to get some type of pull from it. But it is what it is. You know what I mean? That's Pokemon. It's hit or miss, especially when they smash like three different sets into boxes or tins because it's like one pack from each. So, I mean, if it was all continuously the same set, then you have a higher chance to pull something because you're opening the same set back to back. But anyways, let's announce that giveaway. So we have decently sized stack of cards, similar to the last giveaway I did. So we have the Holographic Reshiram from Shining Legends. We have the Latios from Shining Legends. The Raikou from Shining Legends. The Zapdos Holographic from Hidden Fates. We have the Jesse and James Holographic from Hidden Fates. We have the Charizard GX uh, which is the Sun and Moon promo. We have the Gyarados GX which is also, the uh, Sun and Moon promo tins from Hidden Fates. Then we have another Sun and Moon 213 Raichu GX promo. Then we have the Hidden Fates Mewtwo GX number 31. Then we have the Shiny Froakie, guys. Giving away this Shiny for you guys. And then the Full Art Jesse and James. Thought to give this away because this is just a very beautiful card i have quite a few of them i know there's a lot of people out there that haven't been able to collect this set haven't been able to find it on the shelf so i thought it'd be nice to throw out some of the um cards from hidden fates as well as the 10 promos because i know it was very tough for me to find these 10 promos the tens in general so i thought it'd be nice to kind of give back to the people who weren't able to get the tens and at least give them the promos from there and a couple cards from the set so i thought that'd be pretty cool um so what you gotta guys gotta do to get this giveaway is just be subscribed to the channel smash that like button leave some comments down below or a comment i should say um and just do that for all my videos until the giveaway date which will be next friday let me check the date on that. So that'll be the 25th, next Friday. So all you gotta do, like I said, is like the videos, be subscribed, leave comments down below. On each video I post from now until then, if there's at least one like and one comment on each of those videos, 
from now until then, then you'll be entered into the giveaway. So stay tuned. Uh, um, oh, and I also forgot to mention that I'm going to be throwing these two pins in for the giveaway as well. So there is the Pikachu from Shining Legends pin collection and then the Mewtwo from the Shining Legends pin collection. And you know what? I'll throw in this Alolan play coin. So if you guys are interested, just do the steps that I said and it'll qualify you guys to win this giveaway. And I will be doing a random generator so stay tuned for that video that we'll be releasing Friday the 25th. And once again, guys, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and peace.